Ugh. Well, I don't know if it's morning when you're going to be watching this, but it's morning right now. And today we are with Vivian. So basically, we're in a bit of a situation with Vivian, the C30. She has actually run out of MOT, which is sad times. And it's my own fault because I forgot that the MOT ran out this month. But anyway, the she does have a split CV boot on the front, which obviously is an MOT file. I should have fixed it ages ago, but obviously I forgot that the car runs out of MOT. So um, we've got parts arriving for it. Next, uh, at the end of this week uh, so she's currently she's not doing much at the minute she's just sat chilling but while she is sat chilling and she's not you know going anywhere i thought this is the perfect time to do a modification on vivian that i've been wanting to do for ages c30s don't come with any body kits like you know you buy a car and you can go on the maxim designs website and basically absolutely blow your load all over it and cover your car in maxim design if you drive a C30, you can't do that. Well, you can for the pre-facelift, but the facelift, you can't. They there's no split kits for it. There's no body kits or anything like that. I'm not saying that I'm going to put a max power body kit on it, but I would quite like a splitter, and I've wanted one for ages. But a popular choice with the C30 boys is um, you can get those rubber lips. And I know people are going to be like, oh, my God, Emily, what the fuck? But that, they actually do look quite good on these cars. So it's basically just a rubber lip that goes along the bottom. Um, you can buy them for like eight quid on eBay and the you know the universal fit I've been wanting to put one on my car for ages when I actually first bought the car I did buy one and they sent me a carbon one and you know that horrible cheap carbon look shit They sent me that and I was fuming but ever since I've just never bothered to do it But now I'm bothering to do it. So um, I've got one in the car so It's just a plain black one and um, I'm gonna be putting that on today and then as well I do actually have a different grill for the car now my grill on the car is the standard grill. It's just been color coded to the gray that I've got on my wheels and the rest of the car and gloss black with um, the gray Volvo badge and then the blue Volvo overlay. For a while, I've been toying with the idea of getting a carbon grill. So C30 people will know, um, Alg Performance, they actually do sell carbon grills for a lot of Volvo models. So they do like V50s, the preface C30s, facelift C30s, blah, blah, blah. Now, at first I wasn't quite keen on the grills and I was like, mm, no, they're not, they're nice, but they're not a bit of me. But then, I don't know, I think I've had a change of mind and I think I really want one. So I did actually find one quite cheap um, on Facebook Marketplace, but it's a little bit damaged. So it's got a crack at the bottom of it and um, it's been painted black over the top of the carbon, which I'm not, it looks a bit naff to be fair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix that. I'm going to sort of try to see if I can repair this crack and then I'm going to wrap it carbon because if you don't know I'm a professional wrapper now so basically fully qualified probably going to be working at Yanomise next week but you know I don't like to break so yeah here's the grill um, obviously it's just a carbon grill obviously this would have been carbon it's not carbon anymore um, but that's what I want to try in the front of mine. I might hate it and I might think, oh, I don't like it, but it's worth a try. And if I don't like it, then obviously I will just sell it on. Uh, but obviously carbon wrapped as opposed to this, just this black. And as you can see, that's where the crack is. Yes, there's a little bit of a crack there, but I think we should be able to just like, probably sand that down and wrap over. If worse comes to worse, I might just put a bit of filler on it, but I think to be fair, it'll be all right. So here's this rubber splitter. So basically it's just one of these. Um, that's supposed to stick underneath the car, but obviously that's not gonna hold it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some screws in and basically just screw it into the bottom. Um, so yeah, it's basically just gonna run along the bottom of here and it's just gonna make it look a little bit more beefy. And for those who don't know these splitters, you're probably looking at me and thinking, Emily, why are you doing this? It's gonna look so bad. I'm gonna take the whole bumper off, which I've never done before in one of these. So that should be a mission in itself. And then hopefully we'll be able to pop that grill out a lot easier too. Now apparently these aren't the hardest bumpers in the world to take off, but I don't know, I beg to differ because this is, I can straight away you can see plastic clips. Now apparently take the headlights out, which fortunately is a very easy job because it's literally just pull that pin out and then the headlight comes out. Then apparently we've got to undo that screw there, pop all these clips off. Um, then there's some 
some screws behind here on the footwell but not, most of mine are missing anyway which is great and then i think there's some underneath and then you basically just gotta wiggle it off the clips so hmm odds on this being an absolute mission right so i've undone the two screws i've all the plastic clips which were very easy to get out which shocked me no end um obviously now that's loose i've not sworn yet which is very very suspicious i will give it another 10 minutes and i'll probably give up and set the car alight okay so that was actually a lot easier than i thought it was going to be um bumpers off here it is pretty easy it's a bit a bit well it's a bit stiff to get out of there's like some clips that sit in there they're quite hard to get out of but you just have to give it a good yank and then it just comes straight out um so now it'll be a lot easier to work with this and obviously we can get underneath properly and make sure that the bumper's actually going to be secured properly it's just going to run along the bottom like that um obviously we're going to screw it in place and this should just add a little bit of something something just started to put the actual splitter on now as you see it does come with a sticky adhesive that sticky stuff's about as much use as a chocolate pissing fire guard so what i'm doing is i'm self tapping it in so i'm basically just running it along the edge um, and then i'm just going to run a line of self tappers down there obviously screwing it straight into the actual plastic bumper um so that should keep it in place i hope right so that's the whole thing um screwed in so I did have to cut a little bit of excess off the end because it was a little bit too long but I literally just chop that straight off. So there is the bumper now upright and you can see that's just added a nice little subtle lip straight on the bottom like that and that should make the front end look a little bit more angry well I hope anyway. So I've actually bought the bumper inside um, apologies in advance mum if you are watching this because the wind outside was just doing my head in so now I need to get the grill out which I have had out before, but I can remember it being an absolute pain in the arse to get out. Um, and then I was actually thinking about doing these yellow. Now these are actually my daytime running lights, they're not fog lights. These are just on whenever the car is running basically. Um, obviously just not when the headlights are on at night. Um, and I was thinking about doing those yellow. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. What are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Have we got a problem? Yeah, okay. Do apologise, Milo, but unfortunately this is the life that you signed up for, not me. Oh shit, I'm just trying it. Right, so this is out. Now, um, the last time I tried to get this out, it was a pain in the arse. But if you do take the bumper out first, it is a lot easier. So there's basically just loads of clips on the back here. There's just loads of clips on the back there. You basically just push that down. Um, all the way around and then just slide it out basically. So now that's out I'm gonna actually go and get the carbon grill pop that in and actually see what it looks like first to see if I actually like it or not I just quickly I've not put it in properly, but It's basically what that carbon grill will look like when it's in and then I've actually taken the Volvo badge off of my old grill um, and I've thought about putting that there so basically Having it so it sits like that um, I don't quite know how I would attach that to the mesh just yet, but where there is a will, there is always a way. And I don't hate it, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to carbon wrap it. So I have got the wrap there. So I'm going to wrap all this in carbon, which will match a lot better with the grey as well. And then we'll try it again and see if it's, you know, I'm feeling it a little bit more because I'm not, I'm not liking the black at the minute. I'm just going to start wrapping this, so I'm just going to wrap the whole outside of it in the carbon. Now the carbon that I'm using, this is called 6D carbon um, and as you can see it actually looks pretty realistic and it looks a lot better than that cheap horrible stuff. Um, I did actually wrap a C30 waterfall in this and it looks sick so hopefully it has the same effect on this grill. Here's the current wrapping situation, so I've done all around the edge and we've done all around here so now i just need to push it in and then do all this front bit do you like the new girl milo thank you for that response so after about an hour of uh, wrapping we've managed to get the grill back in so here it is now with carbon um, obviously this is what the grill would have originally looked like um, but it just got painted over in black I actually prefer it a lot more now it's carbon and I actually think I will like it when it's on the car obviously it's hard to tell what it's going to look like until the bumper's back on 
but I am really happy with that to be fair. That carbon's come out really nice. I'm going to put a bit of yellow tint on, see what I think. If I don't like it, I can always just take it off, but this is the perfect opportunity to do it because obviously the bump is off. There is still the little crack there. I didn't actually do anything with it. I basically just wrapped straight over it. You can only see it in certain lights, but it's nothing major. I'm not really that fussed, to be honest. Oh, hello, Mr. Milo. Thank you for joining the shot. Ah, thank you. Very kind. What a very kind young man you are. You probably don't want to lick those, mate. Bit dirty. So I have taken a fog light out and I've actually tinted it. I do like it, but I, do, I don't know. Because they are really bright LEDs that are here. Um, I do like it, but like I say, it's, it's so hard to tell whether I'm going to like it all when it's not on the car. So I'm basically just going to wing it. Nah, I think it'll look quite cool, to be fair. So these are also really easy to take off. So you just basically need to pop the, the clips on the fog lights around off. You just pop those out like that. And you have to give this bottom one a good wiggle. Yes? One little T25 here holding that light in. Take that out and then the light literally just comes straight out. Screw that out. Light just comes straight out. So I'm just gonna give that a clean. And then I shall wrap it so it's the same. There you go. So when you're doing this, so obviously you want to be heating it up. Heat up, flatten it down, and then you're gonna heat all around the edges and basically just flatten it around there. With this tin, you do need to use a fair bit of heat to get it to mold around to the right shape. Um, it's very similar to vinyl wrapping, you know. Good old heat, bit of a stretch and a pull. Okay, so there's a better look of what the uh, bumper's looking like now. You can see how glossy that carbon is, which is perfect. And obviously the yellow tint on the fogs now. I'm quite excited to get this back on now. <laughs> I am gas. this looks sick. So that's what it's looked like. Ugh, that's what it looks like on. Obviously that split has actually added such a difference. It's made the front end look a lot more beefy. That grill I love and I actually really do like those yellow fogs. I'm excited to see what they look like when um, the light's actually on. But just quickly lined it back up. Um, I just need to plug everything back in, so the lights and then the washer jets. And then we'll put the lights back in. So here is the finished look. I am absolutely gassed. I love it so much. I was a bit skeptical on the grill but I absolutely love it. I do have the Volvo badge off of my old grill and I would love that to go on there, but I don't there's, I don't really know of any way I can fix it, obviously, because it's got the little tabs at the back. I can't really think of any way for it to pop on. But unless I can think of something, that will stay off for now, but it would look sick with it on. A while back, I was actually sent very, very kindly by Number Plate Clinic some fresh plates for the car. Now you think, oh, they're just 4D ones. You've already got 4D ones. But these do actually have blue behind, behind the black lettering, as you can see, and that should match the car perfectly. I will be putting these on today. I can't put them on right now just because I haven't actually got any of the sticky pads to stick it on with, which I thought I did, but it turns out I haven't got any left. So I will have to run to Halford to quickly get some and then we'll bang these on the car as well but look how beautiful these are they will be on there as well you did also send me out some gel ones for the brick which is over here now she's back home and obviously these are the old ones and then we have brand new gel ones to go on there which i'm also gassed about there's the front one obviously it's just been cable tied onto the grill for now because obviously the bumper's still in the process of being fixed can't wait to get those on obviously i won't put this one on here until that boot's wrapped which should be done this week believe it or not but yeah i am so happy with how that's turned out and i can't wait to get these on yeah i am super super gassed with how the c30 is looking now she's obviously taken a little bit of a back seat in terms of modifications um i've not really done much to her for a long time to be fair i think the last time i did anything to her in terms of mods other than the brakes was doing the headlights and i've had them like that for ages so it's so nice to do things to viv and these three things i've done today are things that i've been wanting to do since i ever first got the car and the reason i never really did them was because to be fair i didn't have the confidence to do it myself and like that sounds so bad to think all the things i've done on the 940 now i didn't even have the confidence to take a bloody bumper off and change a grill but yeah i think that's I'm giving myself a bit of a pat on the back because it shows you how far i've come in terms of working on my own cars and having the confidence to work on my own cars which i am so relieved about like it takes such a stress off your shoulders thinking oh yeah i'll just do that that's fine 
so yeah i'm so happy with the way she looks she looks absolutely sick can't wait to just like take her out and about now obviously she has run out of mot so she's going to be tucked up on the drive for the time being uh hopefully she'll be back out again next week because all she needs is those cv boots repairing um obviously because they've split and we've got the kit coming to repair those so expect a video on that next week as well of repairing the cv boots on this but yeah i know it's just like it's a chill video just me pissing about with the with good old vivian but i've enjoyed today and today's made me feel good which is just what i needed so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one